Hi, and welcome back to our video series on using our OpenGov portal to learn more about the 2022 budget. In this video, we will explore differences between the budgets for the County General Fund and City General Fund. Let's get started. On the Unified Government's homepage, we can get to OpenGov by hovering over Government, going down to Budget and Finance, and clicking on Open Budget Data. This opens the OpenGov data portal. Let's explore the two funds we're interested in today the County General Fund and the City General Fund. These two funds make up the vast majority of budgets for the county and city. The general funds account for all funds that are not required to be accounted for in another fund by law. The first thing we need to do to explore this fund is change the way that the data is broken down. We can do this by looking to the panel on the left-hand side of the screen and clicking on filters. Under filters, there are two drop down arrows allowing to you to show the data broken down by different categories. Under show, we can show wh whether we would like to look at expenses or revenues. Under broken down by, we can change how we break down expenses or revenues by funds, departments, grants, capital project type, or expense type. For our purposes, let's keep this drop down menu on expenses so we can see what the city and county general funds spend money on. Then under broken down by, let's change this to funds. Notice when we do this that the pie chart immediately changes. Now we are looking at all the different funds that the 2022 budget includes. The consolidated general fund holds funds for the county and city. The special revenue fund holds funds that come from special sources designated for a specific purpose. The debt service fund holds funds that go toward our debt service, which is committed to paying off long term projects. The enterprise fund is financed through user fees. The fiduciary or agency fund, the small slice of the pie here, accounts for assets held by the UG as a collection or paying agent for individuals, private organizations, other governmental units or other funds. Let's click on the consolidated general fund to find out more about the county and city funds individually. Now we see the county and city funds separately so we can learn more about these individual funds. Let's start with the county. Once we click on the county general fund, the pie chart is no longer very helpful because there is no further portion of the pie chart to break down expenses by funds. We can get more information by changing our options on the left hand panel of the screen. Now we want to search to see expenses broken down by departments. Now we are looking at expenditures broken by down by departments solely for the county general fund. We can see that the county general fund covers many government services that are essential to government functioning. The largest department is public safety, then general government, judicial services, public works, community services, internal accounts, other programs, and the mayor and commission. Let's explore some of these departments further, starting with public safety because it's the largest. Clicking on public safety, we see that 76.2% of public safety for the county general fund is made up of the sheriff's department. A smaller portion is made up of the police department, the fire department, emergency management department, and department of community corrections. This small slice of the pie here accounts for WICO radio communications. If we wanted to know more about one of these departments, we could first click on the slice of the pie that we're interested in, which for our purposes will be the sheriff just because it's the largest slice here. Let's say we wanted to know what the largest expense was for the sheriff's department rather than what the largest di division within the sheriff was. We could turn to the left hand panel once again and show expenses broken down by expense type. Now we see that the largest expense for the sheriff's department is personnel costs, which is made up of the salaries and benefits that go toward people making that department function. Now let's explore the city general fund. We could click the back button and backtrack all of our work, or we could reset the system and start from the beginning. I like to reset the system and start from the beginning so I know I'm not making any mistakes. So we reset the system and then switch the drop down menus to show expenses broken down by funds. Now we click on consolidated general 
and then we can click on the city general fund. Now that we're only looking at the city, we should break down expenses by departments to see more information. Here we see where the money for the city goes. The major departments for the city general fund include public safety, community services, public works, general government, internal accounts, and smaller portions of this pie include judicial services, other programs, mayor and the mayor and commission. Let's click on community services to see what that's about. Doing so shows us all of the departments that make up community services from parks and recreation to transit and the neighborhood resource center. Notice that we can click on any further pieces of this pie an example the neighborhood resource center and see how these break down further. Now that we've explored the budgets for the county and city general funds further, I hope you've learned more about the government's fund structure and how to gather information about our budget on our OpenGov portal.